Welcome to the how to import and export training video. My name is Henrik and I'm joined today by my colleague Tim. Hello Tim. Hey. So why use import and export? Well, import if you get data from other sources than the usual ones like trias and lab scanners, if you need backup recovery, or if you add a DICOM data to an existing case. Also as concerns export, if you need to generate output in the correct format, or you need to send only the relevant data to other parties, or if you need to prepare the design for manufacturing. So what you'll learn in this video is how to import an ortho system case, how to import a DICOM to a case, tell the difference and purpose of the various export options, and manually create a patient case and append to it. But enough about the preliminaries, let's have a look how it works in the ortho system. Okay, Tim, so we're now in AuthAnalyzer and I can see we have the patient manager open. So why don't you tell us how it works? Sure. If we look here in the uh, top bar here, then we can see in an import option. So let's try clicking that. Uh, when we import entire cases, uh, there's only one option, and that is to import our own proprietary format called FreeSC. And what that contains is everything. So that would be both the uh, geometry and will also be all the, the metadata contained in, in the case. So right now, as you can see, we're looking okay. for, for these uh, free SC Very files. easy. So everything in one file. Exactly. Easy. Yep. So we have a, a file here we could choose. So we will click on that and then press open. And then the, the system will uh, start initiate the uh, import. But first we, we get the option to, uh, to, to cancel. But let's go along with the import. Now the system has correctly detected that this case is in fact already inside the patient manager. Ah, yeah. So now we get uh, three options. We, we could uh, cancel the entire import, yep. or we could choose to append the model cases inside ah, this case to okay. the existing uh, patient. Yep. Or we could choose to create a, an entirely new patient. Yep. I think we should try to create a new patient, so we will click uh, this option here. Uh, it's possible to set up the system to generate a, a patient ID there are two fields that are mandatory, the first name and, and the last name. So let's type them in here. We'll just call them import uh, demo. Yep. Uh, and then we will press uh, create. This case contains uh, three model sets. So here we could- uh, So you can select? Yeah, you can okay. pick and choose between the ones you, you want to include in the import. Let's just choose uh, all of them. And then we will press uh, okay. And then it will uh, begin on the import. And a few seconds later, we can see that it is now uh, appeared down here with ah. the correct uh, first and last yep. name. And if we open, then we can see that the model sets that we chose to import are, exactly. are still here. Yep. So that's how the uh, the uh, import of entire cases with all metadata works. So okay, perfect. Now I think we should uh, try to, to make a new patient and uh, append a, a model set, uh, set that we uh, import um, from okay. scratch. So yep. let's try that. So let's start by making a, a new patient. So we can call this one, uh, we can call it Scratch Imports. You're very inventive when the name's here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but still can't hit yeah. the right button. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we will press uh, Create here. Yeah. So now we've just created a uh, an empty patient. Now yeah. I think we should try to append a, a model set and a, and a DICOM to that. Okay. And we do that on, on this new model set uh, button here. Okay. These buttons out here, here you could choose to say I only have the maxillary or the mandibular, but let's try to import uh, both of them. Uh, we need to give it a, a model set uh, ID uh, for it to uh, to work. Uh, yep. So we will type that one in, and then we will press uh, create here. Now it automatically give us the option to uh, to import the data. It is uh, partly automated. As you can see here, we could go in manually and import both the maxillary and the mandibular, but we also have the option for the system to intelligently guess uh, uh, what the files are based on, on the first one. So I have a case here where, where the subparts have been prepared so we can choose from it here. Yeah. So we will just choose the maxillary and now we will see that the system will automatically identify the mandibular and also uh, mm -hmm. import that one. So now we only choose the maxillary, press open, and now it ah, automatically okay. finds the mandibular. Nice. Yeah. Let's try to append a, a, a CT scan as well. So we have a, a DICOM here inside this case. So we'll go in here. 
Um, you should make sure that this option is, is clicked where it will automatically select all the related images. So what we'll do now is that we'll only click on the first one. And now it will intelligently find all of the other uh, pictures uh, based on, on the naming convention. So it will simply look through the directory uh, and, and now choose them all automatically. Uh, okay, for so you. that will save you time selecting all of them basically. Yes. Okay. And if there only are one file, then you can also choose that just uh, one file. Okay. Then we will uh, press next and then we will get to a part that is covered in one of the other videos where you can now crop up the uh, the DICOM. Uh, so uh, we will refer to that video for now to, exactly. to focus on our import and export. Okay. Excellent. Thanks. Yeah. That takes us over to uh, our export uh, section. Let's look into the uh, export options. Uh, when we look at this from a, a patient level in the, uh, the patient manager, uh, there are several uh, export options, uh, namely these four mentioned here. They are also possible on, on a model set level. So let's cover it from in there because there are some additional options when we look at, at model sets. Okay, so the export menu is different depending on the level. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so so we'll cover all the options but uh, from in here from, from the mm -hmm. model set. The first one is called export to, to file. Uh, when we click on that, we have the possibility to export the FreeSC uh, file that we uh, in fact did an import on earlier. So mm. that would be the exact format. If we did the import on patient level, then all the relevant metadata linked to, to that level will also uh, be included. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we can specify a location where we could, uh, where we could save it. Yeah. The next option is the um, possibility to export trias model without patched areas. And what that means is that the trias have the possibility to approximate surfaces where it almost have enough uh, data to uh, to say, yep, I'm 100% sure about this surface. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. um, but in some cases, you only want to have a bomber-proof uh, data that you are absolutely sure of. Okay. And this is the way you can export uh, a trias scan where you make holes instead of these patch areas. Okay. I see. The next one is uh, when where you want to export uh, to our uh, CAT software called uh, Cambridge, mm -hmm. uh, like CAM software. Uh, it will contain some additional information on how the geometry is arranged. So if you look, for instance, at a, at a splint, it will know about what is the inner and the outer surface. So if you're going to mill it later, then the drill will know uh, ah, okay. which is yep. the inner and outer surface, so we can sense. do the finishing mm -hmm. a bit uh, easier. The advantage of this is also that you get to specify the location on where you want to save the files. We'll come back to later why this is important, or we might as well call it now. The reason why this is nice is that if you choose instead to export the models where you also will just get the geometry mm -hmm. out, then it will just uh, dump the file inside the auto data folder, the and then you have to go manually and find the right. Afterwards. Okay. So, yeah. So that's a little tip on how you can can. Uh, so circumvent that. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The next one is uh, where we have the possibility to export it uh, in the ABO standard from the US. Yeah. So here it will package the data in a in a format specified by and approved by ABO. So so you can uh, ship your files to them in in the approved okay. format. The next one is sent to communicate. And that is how you will be able to ship cases to other parties over our free ship communicate cloud solution. Exactly, and we have a separate video on that. Exactly. So, yeah. so if we click on that, we can then see that these are, are the sites that I have in fact added on this computer that are available and, and none other, but please go to the other yep. uh, video for, for, for details. Export models we covered. The last one is called export to table. And here it makes an XML table with all the, the, the metadata. So if you want to maybe pipe it into a, another third-party program, then you have the option to uh, uh, to put it into a, a, a file format that is very easy to work with the third-party right, like program. a practice management system or... Yeah. Exactly, okay. exactly. It's possible to mark uh, several cases and then still export them to a, a table. So you could make a mass export or mark okay. mass uh, uh, import into the, uh, the other system. So that sort of covers the... Uh, the export possibilities from outside the, uh, the patient manager. Inside the uh, auto analyzer, we also have some uh, export options. Uh, if we go to the top right corner here, then we have an uh, export model set option uh, that we can click and then various options opens. Uh, 
The save as virtual setup is already covered by the video we have for, for virtual setup, so let's concentrate on this save model as. This is in fact the same option as you find out in the patient manager. So uh, you have the possibility here to uh, give a location where you want your exported files to, to go. Okay. The last one is also found out in the patient manager where you can uh, duplicate a, a model set. The last option is where you can save an, uh, an, a new occlusion. Uh, yeah. So that covers the import and export options in, in the auto analyzer. Okay, super. And that concludes the training video on how to import and export. So make sure to check out our other videos and thank you for watching.